Viva la Revolución is a 10th grade world history PBL project. In this video clip, I'm going to give a quick overview of the project and then review the three core practices that make this project what it is. So the essential question in this project is how can we, as historians, determine the effectiveness of a revolution in improving the lives of citizens? This is an eight week project that starts with a unique Nation X simulation in which kids are tasked with creating a fair and functional society while the class has been split up to represent the unfair conditions of the feudal system. We then next explore as a full class the French Revolution as a case study in order to develop criteria for what makes a revolution effective at improving citizens' lives. Students then apply that quality criteria to their study of one of three revolutions, either the Haitian Revolution, Mexican Revolution, or Cuban Revolution. And then they test out their skills in a mock trial assessment in which students are having to represent the revolution um, and defend their position about the revolution as lawyers or witnesses of the revolution. Before I talk through the three core practices, I want to quick give a shout out to Aaron Randvold of Envision's Impact Academy in Hayward, California, whose initial vision for this project I have adapted and revised to create this one. In the summary section of this project, there's a brief overview of some of the Common Core writing, reading, speaking, and listening standards that are covered through this project. There's also an explanation of the week by week schedule that students will follow that outlines the final products, the outcomes and targets, the formative assessments and instructional strategies to engage all learners. Lastly, there's a week by week overview of how I paced this project. There were three core practices that made this project as unique and special as it is. The first is a tremendous project called Nation X, X which is our project launch. And that's where students are tasked with having to create this fair and functional society that inevitably leads to some social revolutions because the society starts in such unfair constraints. Next, there was an intentional focus throughout this project on helping students build collaborative skills as they do their research, gather their evidence, and prepare their case theories for the mock trial. Lastly, because students are engaging with a lot of primary source documents from throughout history, there was an intentional focus on building literacy skills and research skills to help students engage with some of these more challenging, antiquated texts. 